uh, there's that road pillar that I got run. Well, didn't tell you that I got it run yet, but I just did. It's got a new spark plug. I didn't change the oil yet since I got it running. Uh, but I should change the oil because it's really grayish looking stuff. It's not that there's water in it, it's just really old. It's just been sitting in there for a while. Uh, put in new points and condensers. Had the flywheel off and stuff. I showed you the points and stuff. And why they even fouled out. They are actually shorted out. There's black on them. Like, and there was actually a little hole in the points. So it looks like something shorted them out. And you had sparks jumping across the points or something. I don't know. So they were short now, so I put in a new set of points of condensers. Uh, probably was the condenser was bad, and usually that's when the points go. So I'll start it up. It runs. Not the greatest, but it runs. You have to give it a few pulls and wait till it pops and chokes. I haven't really had it running all that much, probably maybe a half an hour on it since it ran and it's been sitting for seven years, haven't really done anything to it at all, uh, didn't even clean the carb, didn't have to, it fired right up on its old gas, so, and it was running on seven year old gas, it is extremely loud as you can hear, because the muffler is busted on the inside, so I'm going to see if I can find another one for it, it ain't that bad though, but it, you could see flames blowing out the exhaust when you when you lower down the throttle and stuff, so that's not too good. It's definitely showing you that the exhaust busted. It's that screening that they put in there or whatever. And you have to, usually for a while you'll be starting it up with the choke on until it runs. It starts up. The engine has to be real hot. adjusted that a little too far in the reverse it's really the reverse is busted or something so whenever you go in the reverse it puts a lot of load on the motor and all of a sudden it shuts it off so I don't know if it's supposed to be like that I highly doubt it and it's cool cord it's hopeless speed it up a little bit and it, the choke doesn't work when you give it on here because the cable is pretty worn out and stuff so I'll try it one more time It's got a new spark plug and everything, so I made a bar for it at Tech. Looks pretty nasty, but it's a little too heavy for it, but it'll work. I'll just have to sit on the outside like that, and I'll have to find a shorter bolt, or just tighten it up, I guess. And then I have it drill holes in it, just uh, separate uh, mountings. Welded that and sanded it, grinded it down the welds and stuff, kind of fused them together. As I put really big welds on them and stuff, it I just quick threw it together. Really crappy looking welds on there. Like look at that. But I wouldn't see why it holds. I mean, there's so much welding on it. There's a weld on here, on this side there too. There's a weld there. So this is already on here. This is all just a old stainless steel bars and stuff and this was a piece of bar 
So all I could do is I had to weld it back together and stuff, cut with a bandsaw. And this was just, as you can see, that was just cut with an acetylene torch. I just cut that off with an acetylene torch and tried my best to smooth it up. So, yeah, it looks okay. Um, you know, there's the BX24, it's up here. I want to make some trails later on. So I do need to just change the oil on it and stuff yet. And we should be, should be pretty good. Uh, not what I came in here for. I hate when I do that. Yeah, well, thanks for watching, people.